Imagine this, an isolated house in the middle of nowhere, and you, the sole occupant, stumble upon something terrifying. Picture yourself in a quaint old house nestled within the heart of a dense forest, far removed from the hustle and bustle of urban life. You are the sole occupant, a young individual, seeking solitude and tranquility. The house is charming yet eerie, filled with antique furniture and rooms that hold the secrets of time. One day, while exploring the property, you stumble upon something unusual. Hidden beneath the worn-out wooden flooring, you discover a concealed hatch. Intrigued, you pry it open, revealing a set of narrow, dust-covered stairs spiraling down into the unknown. With a deep breath, you descend into the bowels of the house. The air grows colder, the silence more profound. Your steps echo through the darkness, the only sound in this forgotten space. At the end of the stairs, you find yourself standing before a heavy iron door. It's old, rusted, untouched for what seems like decades. You reach out, your fingers brushing against the cold metal, only to jerk back in surprise. From behind the door, you hear strange noises. Whispers, faint and indistinct, fill the air, followed by the occasional soft thud, like something brushing against the door. Curiosity peaked. You try the handle, but the door is locked, the key nowhere to be found. Your heart pounds in your chest. The whispers grow louder, more insistent, a cacophony of voices that sends chills down your spine. You're alone in this house miles away from the nearest neighbor, and yet you're not alone. There's something behind that door, something that's been waiting, perhaps for you. What could be behind that door, you wonder? Brace yourself, the truth is far more horrifying than you can imagine. This is just the beginning, the first disturbing discovery. The real story, the real horror, is yet to come. And as you stand there, the whispers echoing in your ears, you know that your life is about to change forever. As the sun sets, the noises from the basement grow louder, more insistent. You can't ignore it any longer. Curiosity, that insatiable thirst for knowledge, begins to take root in your mind. You find yourself drawn to the locked door in the basement, an enigma that has been gnawing at you for weeks. The door, old and weathered, stands as a silent sentinel guarding secrets that have been lost in the sands of time. With each passing day, your fear of the unknown is slowly being replaced by a desire to unravel the mystery. The strange sounds, the inexplicable occurrences, all seem to stem from this door. It's as if the door is calling out to you, begging you to uncover its secrets. One day, while rummaging through an old chest, you stumble upon a key. Its rusted metallic surface is cold to the touch. It's an old-fashioned key, the kind that might fit the door in the basement. A shiver of anticipation runs down your spine. The key feels like an invitation, a chance to finally uncover the truth. After what feels like an eternity, you find yourself standing before the door again. The key is heavy in your hand, a tangible reminder of the impending revelation. The noises from the basement seem to have reached a crescendo, echoing throughout the house, pushing you towards the door. Your heart pounds in your chest as you insert the key into the lock. The key turns with a creak, a sound that reverberates in the silence of the house. The door creaks open, revealing a darkness that seems to swallow all light. With a deep breath, you step into the unknown. The chill of the basement engulfs you. The smell of damp earth and something else, something old and forgotten, fills your nostrils. As your eyes adjust to the darkness, they fall upon a sight that freezes your blood. With the key in your trembling hand, you unlock the door, and the sight that greets you is beyond your wildest nightmares. Behind the door lies a room filled with bones, human bones, the remnants of countless victims. As our protagonist steps into the room, a chill runs down their spine. The room is a catacomb, a macabre museum of sorts, a testament to a deranged mind. Bones, human bones are strewn about, piled in corners, lined along the walls. Each one a silent testament to a life snuffed out far too soon, a story abruptly ended, a name forever lost. 
In this grim gallery of the grotesque, the protagonist stumbles upon a collection of yellowed newspapers. The headlines scream of people gone missing, faces forever frozen in black and white, their eyes pleading for help from a world that couldn't find them. The dates on these clippings span over decades, a chronicle of the faceless victims whose remains now fill the room. One by one, the protagonist connects the dots, each newspaper clipping matching a set of bones. The realization hits like a punch, a sickening feeling of dread washing over them. These aren't just bones, these are the missing people, the ones who vanished without a trace, leaving behind grieving families and unanswered questions. The ones who were reduced to mere statistics in the annals of unsolved mysteries. The house, seemingly innocent, with its worn-out bricks and creaky floors, is not just a house, it's a charnel house, a gruesome graveyard of the missing. It's a place where lives were stolen, where screams were muffled, where the missing stayed missing. It's a murderer's playground, a sadist's sanctuary, a killer's lair. Our protagonist is standing in the belly of a beast surrounded by the remains of its countless victims. The air seems to grow colder, the silence louder, the room smaller. The walls, once just old plaster and paint, now seem to close in, whispering the untold stories of the departed. The floor, once just wooden boards, now feels like a bed of nails, each bone a piercing reminder of the horrors that unfolded in this very room. The fear is palpable, as real as the bones that litter the room. It's a fear that clings to the skin, seeps into the bones, and fills the air with its icy touch. It's a fear that asks the question, who is the killer? The answer, unknown and elusive, hangs heavy in the room. But there's another question, a more pressing one, a more terrifying one. Are you next? Will your story be reduced to a headline in a yellowed newspaper clipping? Will your bones join the countless others in this room of horrors? You are in a killer's lair, but who is the killer? And more importantly, are you next? Just when you think you've seen the worst, something else catches your eye. A photo, a photo that sends chills down your spine. Your heart pounds as you pick it up, your palms damp with a cold sweat. It's an old photograph, faded and yellowed with age. You see a man standing in front of the very house you now own. The man in the picture, he looks familiar, too familiar. You feel your stomach drop as you realize why. The man in the photo, the man who used to own this house, is the spitting image of you. Your doppelganger from another time. That's when the horrifying pieces start to fall into place. The unsolved mysteries begin to unravel. You remember the old stories that the townsfolk used to whisper about the house's former owner. How he was a recluse, a man shrouded in mystery and dark rumors. They said he was a serial killer, a predator who preyed on the unsuspecting. Yet, what you discover next is even more bone-chilling. The man in the photo isn't just your look-alike, he's your ancestor you are the descendant of a serial killer. The realization hits you like a ton of bricks, the eerie basement, the skeletal remains, the whispers of the town. It all makes sense now. You realize that the old man's murderous legacy didn't die with him. It lived on, dormant, in the very blood that courses through your veins, the house, the basement, the bones. They weren't just remnants of a past life, they were symbols of your dark lineage. You were meant to find them, meant to uncover the truth. A chilling revelation indeed, a legacy of blood and darkness that you never asked for, yet one that you cannot escape. The house, the basement, the bones, they aren't just artifacts of a haunted past. They are the grim reminders of your lineage, of the inescapable fact that the blood of a killer runs in your veins. The blood of a killer runs in your veins. The house, the basement, the bones, it's all a part of your dark legacy. As the horrifying truth sinks in, you hear a noise, a noise from the basement. It's a shiver-inducing, bone-rattling sound that sends your heart into a frantic gallop. Suddenly, the house feels too big, too empty, and yet not empty enough. You're not alone. That much is clear. A chill creeps up your spine as cold as the grave as you piece together the fragments of this macabre puzzle. The faces of the past refuse to be forgotten. 
their echoes lingering in the shadows of this ancient abode. The original killer, a spectre from a forgotten era, still haunts these hallowed halls. The ghostly presence is palpable, a spectral tenant jealously guarding its domain from the living. Your breath hitches in your chest, the silence of the house now shattered by the relentless pounding of your heart. As you stand frozen in fear, you realize the horror story isn't over. In fact, it's just beginning.